clean and they don't stay wet for long. And How do you wash them? Like, uh, well, I would think machine. you don't. I don't wash mine, and they don't right. smell. And I wear them right. for years and years and years. I've still got ones I had when I was sixteen. Um, wow. right. But um, I don't wash. But I think you would you would dry clean it if there was a problem. I would imagine. Um, right. I'm just wondering what it says if there's a note about that. Let uh -huh. me see if we can find out right now. Lightly sponge. With warm, soapy water, so there's no washing. Right. And no dry cleaning. Right. Lightly sponge with warm, soapy water is what, right. what it would say. But that would be only to take a wee bit mud off it or something like that. Uh -huh. um, you know, but the other thing I was going to say to you about the tartan, so you had every clan had their tartan, you lay down and rolled this thing round you and then um, brought it over your shoulder and then tied the whole lot with a piece of leather belt made from cow skin. Uh, and that uh, was okay. your early uh, clan fighting gear. So this was oh. right round your body and then over your shoulders, and that was your plaid. Right, okay. You know, your plaid. And still you see Highland dress with a plaid, uh, a piece of tartan hanging from the shoulder. So much history, Scott. It's oh, fantastic. It's wonderful, Kareem, the whole thing. Yes. You know, and, and also okay. their armaments. I mean, it sounds a bit cruel and a bit wild, but they were very bloody days, of your pardon the word. And yes. they oh, had a yeah. two handed broadsword called a claymore. And oh, they would right. swing this round and take somebody's head off. And <laughs> they, you had a targe, which was a shield of solid wood with a metal um, bracelet for hanging on to it, and you put that up over your head to counter the blow from the claymore. Uh, so that, so the shield sword and shield, so you had your sword and you had your shield, but you needed two hands to swing your, your claymore. And then you had, um, you'll always see a big targe or shield alongside somebody with a claymore. And then you had your dirk, which was a, a big long knife about, the whole thing, handle and blade, would be about 18 inches, I would have thought. And that was your dirk, and that was round your waist. So if they didn't, if you didn't take their head off with the sword, you pulled the dirk on them, and they got stabbed with that. And then down your leather, it wasn't your socks, was the skian do, which is Gaelic for black knife. Wow. And that was your other one. So when they thought they'd disarmed you, we've taken these clay 